Still got hey, what? <laughs> what you got? <laughs> Listen, it's on the rocks. How come Torino's not here? Don't worry, he knows where to find us. He's always late. Taking her home to Papa. It's gonna be a threesome. Oh, <laughs> Rosie, you kill me. <laughs> How you do? I do fine, hon. I'm fine. You got no radio. No better at all. No. Come on. Hey, Maria. It's all right Listen. by me. It's getting better. Give me that. Tell me what he says. Tell me what he says, darling. Stop talking. I can't hear you. I'm listening. I remember a movie on the same subject. She dies of cholera. Can't you get any music on those I things? Or do you only get certain cried. stations? I always cry at movies. Television doesn't affect me that way, though. You got television, too? Why, sure. What the hell? I used to work in Rimini. I bought this television, but I worked nice. Cramp, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Giuseppe. How about that? Get out of here. Eyes. Don't worry about him. He's a dimwit. Well, that's why I'm worried. He grabbed me like he knew me. He's a village idiot. We can't forget the past. We don't have to live in Paris. We can go south. Let's the make this one a quickie, Uncle. What do you mean a quickie? You know what she means. Last time, you took an hour. Maybe we could turn off the radio. No, I'm listening. Just a minute. I've never changed. I'm not asking you to change. No money, no peeking. Get the picture? <laughs> You want to see something magic? Then watch the birdie disappear. I'm not saying this to hurt you, but because I Ready. want to save you from hurt. <laughs> Believe me. We know what you're watching. We know what you're watching. Peeping down, peeping down. Hey, Giuseppe. Giuseppe's a big baby. Giuseppe's a big baby. Giuseppe's a big baby. You dirty boys, get out of here! <laughs>
Loma, pick up your jacket. Aww. It's about time you found your way home, Michele. Wash your hands. Then take this orange juice up to Miss Patrizia. She's in a room lying down. She's tired. Poor thing. Your father's always off with his cronies, and you, heaven knows where you go. Tomorrow happens to be Sunday. Does it now? It may be Sunday for you, but for me, it's just another work day. Ironing, sewing, cooking and cleaning. You'd think I was paid by the hour. Nobody around here thinks of me. Put your orange jade on the table. Oh, Michele, bring the tray here. Come on, I won't bite you. I'm coming. I don't want to spill it. Are you upset seeing a nude female? Well, no. I didn't think so. How many girls have you had? Hmm? I don't know. Lots. You liar. If you'd said one or two, I might have believed you. Ah, but lots is not true. You're just full of shit. Would you like to go to bed with me? I said, would you like to go to bed with me? Yeah. <laughs> I bet you would. Michele! Michele! You up there? Michele! Coming! Mom, I said I'm coming. Well, come on. Go. Obey your mama. Oh, <laughs> oh, 
What in God's name's the matter with you today? Shut up! Oh, no! The search for little Bruno Locascio continued throughout all of yesterday, comma, as it had for the three previous days since he this disappeared. All we needed. Period. Kids wander off and you get blamed for it. We do. As usual. Comma. Police have widened their field to include mountainous areas around Achindura. Period. Over a hundred policemen and highway troops are engaged in the search. Period. We have new information from the boy's father. Yes, the boy's father. An anonymous telephone call, comma, made in Achindura, was received last night close to midnight. Yes, the unknown caller asked for a large amount. What? I can't tell you. Yes. The authorities are maintaining a blackout over the story, hoping for some word of the kidnappers. Yeah, that's a whole story. Stop! Hold it. Press. I'm sorry, gentlemen. The commissioner won't allow anyone beyond here. Uh, we understand. It doesn't matter. Thank you, sir. Just keep your shirts on. Looks like I gotta play tricks on these guys. But I can't lay my hands on money like that. The whole town knows it. It's never been very easy. We managed to buy a piece of land. We haven't anything else. No money in the bank. We might as well go back to headquarters. You're quite certain you have no enemies? You can be sure. There's no one. We're respected by the whole town. The motive was money, nothing else. That's all he said. Six million and hundred thousand liter notes. Where were you told to take the money? <laughs> we must take it to the old warehouse, he said. <laughs> He told me to bring it tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. When I got there, I was to hide the cash in the fourth furnace. <laughs> but I can't get hold of six million lira. In cash? <laughs> Naturally. It would have to be cash. But did you say that, or did the man request it by telephone? No, no. By telephone. He said he wanted... He wanted it. All in cash. <laughs> All in cash? Yes. I'm sorry to interrupt, sir, but think about it a moment. This caller sounds quite crazy, at least according to Locascio. Yes. That's evident. <laughs> to stipulate something which is so very obvious. Right. Excuse me, who are you? Andrea Martelli, the Standard of Milan. Just a minute. Pleasure. You haven't got a pass. How'd you get in? There's a window open in there. Look, I know you've pointed out something rather interesting, but I think you better run along now. Very well. So long, Commissioner. No, not the window. Please, sir, out this way. Oh, certainly. I'm sorry. Be seeing you. Goodbye. Well, Locascio? He said... I mustn't say a word to anybody about all this. Then he said if I informed the authorities, he'd murder my son. He'll murder Bruno. Unless the money is all paid, he's going to. Oh, God, why? You can save him, can't you? I'm not completely sure we can. <gasps>
Don't fire, man. Don't let him get away. Stop him! <coughs> Hold oh. still! <coughs> 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 I happened to put my hand in just by accident. By accident? Well, I've been using that furnace as a hiding place. I, I used to keep things there. Barry, you're lying. Tell me the truth. <laughs> Why should I be lying? I don't know anything. This Bruno Locascio wasn't anyone I knew. <gasps> what do you mean, wasn't? Is it because you know he's dead? That's what you mean, isn't it? Isn't it? You murdered him, didn't you? Confess it. No, I didn't. The kid was only 12 and you kidnapped him. Why not confess it? Tell me the honest truth. I'm not a killer. I don't know nothing. God, I'm innocent. I didn't kill him. <laughs> It's for a spot check. I want you to listen to a voice. Say a few words. What? Anything you like. You can count, can't you? Go ahead. One, two, three. Move it! One. Oh, no, I'm innocent! I didn't do it! I didn't kill anyone! Don't hurt me! I didn't do it! Well, what about it? Uh -huh. Are you sure? Thanks for the information. Hmm? Locascio. You sure that's the voice? Remember? Yes, I do. Sorry, I can't talk now. I just buried him. He was already dead. I swear before the altar of God, he was dead. Did you hear what the man said? The boy had already been killed. What do you think? The guy's an imbecile. You said he was crazy, remember?
They're shouting for the killer of that boy. And we've got to find him before they do. Commissioner, you mean you believe that Barra might have been telling the truth after all? The record states that Barra signed a confession, though it is full of contradictions. I know the contradictions are simply evidence that Barra is slightly mentally deficient. You've known him for some time, Captain. Yes, I already told you. I've never known the man to harm a soul. He found the Locasha boy murdered and buried the child's body, intending to call the father and try to extract a little money. The inspiration of an imbecile. Yes. And the small ransom requested, six million lira, confirms in the main your hypothesis. boy wasn't molested this time, either. Make a statement to the press. We can put a stop to the rumors that the crimes were sexual. The only variations we found between the two bodies was the contusion on the neck of the first victim. Yes, the killer stunned him before killing him. But remember that the boy was strangled. He could have been beaten to death. Instead, he was killed like the other one. In my opinion, this indicates a definite choice, the kind of manic repetition we find in schizophrenics. Brilliant. He's murdered two little children. The guy's obviously going to be a mental case, uh, to my way of thinking, Lieutenant. Of course. The killer is a maniac. But his mind works in a certain logical pattern which has a reasonable meaning for him. Were they unrelated victims? Perhaps their poor bodies can furnish some hint. now that's what I thought when a priest is close to his boys in age as well of course it helps a lot what I want is for them to come here with pleasure pass the ball they're good lads if they prefer the house of the Lord to playing in the streets <laughs> well they like the soccer field they're devoted to the Lord but more to soccer a lot more they like you a lot so I've heard Do you want to know my secret Let's hear it. I play soccer, too. Ah. I'm a very good center forward. Huh. People aren't worried much about their immortal souls. They watch TV, go to the movies. They read the papers with all those scandalous photographs. But you're a reporter, aren't you? Yes, I work for a daily. Things like this happen, and the world is shocked. 
I'm sorry. The water's turned off at six. Oh. You look for a culprit. But no one ever asks if the culprit isn't our would-be liberalism. No one? What can a poor priest do? <laughs> oh, I'm a friend of the news vendor. And certain magazines aren't sold here. In fact, they don't even get here. Cigarette? No. They're free. No, no. Go on. That's a sort of censorship, right? Mm-hmm. Do you think I'm wrong? No. But what can you do about that sort of thing? I'm afraid the news vendor can't do very much about her. No. <laughs> well done, Alberto. What have they decided in Rome? Can you get married yet? Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to see a little new masculinity around. Oh, well. You will keep me informed because I'll be very interested to hear. Finished? How much? That's all right. I'll bill you later. I wouldn't say she's your most devout parishioner. I know. In fact, it's only since she arrived here that funny things have been going on. What do you mean? Nothing. It's just sometimes you get suspicious of everyone. Who's that? Oh, she was born here. Her father made a fortune in Milan. You might have noticed that funny-looking modern-type building on the way into town. Yeah, is that her house? Yes, her father owns it, but he only built it for show. He never comes here. He hates the place. What's the girl here for? Wouldn't she be better off in Milan? Well, apparently she was implicated in a drug scandal a few months ago. I don't know any of the details, but her father seemed to think she'd better stay here. <laughs> They're watching. That's so late. No, who's afraid? No, I can go out the back door. Nobody will see. Here are your keys, miss. Type of picture McKelly would like. Call him a sir. Hell is studying. For one night in the week, he can do without it.
up at the Signorinas. This was on his table. And then he came back here to study. <laughs> He's never stayed out all night before. <laughs> Why were you and your husband so late getting in last night? Because Miss Patrizia was late. She likes me to be there when she comes in. She's been worried she'll find an intruder. That's what she says. Find our boy, our little son. Oh, please. And does she make a point of of going out at night alone? <laughs> no. Just once or twice, as I remember. Dogs can't smell a damn thing with all this rain. Yeah. Look, I've had it, Martelli. I'm soaked to the skin. They'll certainly let us know if they find a clue. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Okay, so long. I'm scared of thieves. I know it sounds silly, but there's nothing I can do about it. But you're not bothered staying out in your car from nine until midnight. Or am I mistaken? No. Your informers are right. Your source of information wins an award this time for accuracy. And do you want to know what I did during those hours? Nothing. I went up and down the highway like an idiot. For three consecutive hours? Yes. Well, it's a simple remedy when you're nervous. You've been very nervous lately? I wasn't nervous. I was... No, oh, what's the use? There's no sense in being mysterious. With all the gossip in town, I'd be surprised if they hadn't told you already. I used to take... I used to take drugs, and now that I'm clean, I occasionally get a craving. You saw nobody, did you? Nobody. And you never stopped the car at all? Why? You might have had to buy gas or get a cup of coffee. I don't remember. You've forgotten. We're talking about last night. I didn't stop. Thou accept our sacrifice in behalf of this soul whom we this day commend to thee. Grant, O Lord, that he may pass from death to life with thy saints forever, which thou didst promise of old to Abraham and his seed. The eternal light shine upon him, O Lord, with thy saints forever, because thou art merciful. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and thy perpetual light shine upon him. O Lord Jesus Christ. 
Christ Which one? The, the one with the child. The kid in the blue dress. Is that her daughter? Yes, her name is Malvina. It's a shame she's like that, Commissioner. Her brother is perfectly normal. Grant, we beseech thee, almighty God, that the soul of thy servant, Michele, who has departed out of this world, being purified by this sacrifice and delivered from his sins, may receive both He's pardon here. and everlasting rest. He's here. Our Lord Jesus Christ. I know he is. Who with thee and the Holy Ghost he, liveth and reigneth forever. Here, I know. I know he is. The killer is here with us. I know it. The killer. You see, Commissioner, she went into the church after everyone else was already inside, as if she didn't want anyone to notice her. Then, after a few minutes, she ran away, because this woman is running away. Yes. But her sudden flight from the church could be explained by the fact that she practices magic. No, no. Because Machara doesn't practice a damn thing, Commissioner. They claim she's a witch because she lives with old Francesco but for no better reason than that. Besides, in this part of Italy, witches, whether male or female, work in close cooperation with established religion, understand me? Yes, completely. This so-called Francesco is some sort of magician. He practices black magic? Yes, that's it, sir. He's very much in demand. They come to see him from all over the place, Sicily, Calabria, every place. Francesco's got a good-sized bank account. He lives way out here because he likes it. He's lived his whole life here in these mountains. No, go ahead. Mm. I can't understand why anyone would want to live like this. to you, Francesco. How you been? Can't complain. Uh, uh, isn't Machara here? If you don't see her, son, and she's not here. When will she be back? Any idea, Francesco? Ask St. Anthony. I haven't seen her. Hide nor hair. For over two weeks now. You mean she left two weeks ago and she hasn't been back here? How come? <sighs> and who is this? Well, he's a friend of mine. Ah, if you're looking for Machari here, you're wasting time. Does no evil and she knows none. You listen. Listen to the words of old Francesco. I've just got uh, one or two questions more. Have you been looking for her? Or aren't you interested? Sure, I looked. When she was near at hand. I looked on Friday. Friday at midnight. 
St. Rocco came to me that night in a vision and said to go to the oak near the crucifix. And what happened? I went to try and find her. The rain was like a blanket over the forest. Did you find anyone there beneath the cross or uh, by the trees? I found someone. The night. And nothing else. San Rocco's a big liar. Yeah. Put your faith only in San Benedict. Nobody's been betrayed by him. See here, Francesco. Yes? A crime was committed, as you must know, on that very spot Friday night. If you say so. If St. Benedict reveals the killer, I'll pass the word on to you. He's just fooling with us. He ought to be arrested, Modesti. Yeah, if you got a mind to start a revolution in Achandura. Look, Francesco, all we want is to ask Machara a couple of questions. She hasn't been here for two weeks. And when she's coming back, only St. Benedict and St. Mark know that. Excuse me, I've got to take a crap. If he's on the level, only St. Benedict can tell us that for sure. And I bet he ain't talking. He may not know where she is, but one thing's clear. That woman has a reason for going into hiding. suppose brings her here. Be mighty interesting to know. Take this down. In latest developments, comma, a large contingent of state police has arrived here in Achindura from the regional capital, period. Apparently, they will be used to search the surrounding countryside. But the reason why the reserves are here in the town is not immediately clear, as there is no news as yet concerning the disappearance of any other children. Remember, you asked me about a lady called Aurelia Avalone. That's her with a baby. I happened to notice her at the funeral the other day. She seems strange. We put up with her only because she's the mother of the priest, you know. Can you hear me? I know where you can find Machara. Yes. Yes, I know where it is, more or less. Who's speaking? Someone who wants justice. coming and blew the coop. Now she's probably still in the vicinity. Tell the boys at the command post to survey the area. Right. Tell the control 20, we found traces of the woman in the cave. What is it, boy? What you got, fella? 
By God, he's found something down there. Go on, boy, dig. <laughs> Charles' child, you think? Yes, hers and Francesco's. It happened 15 years ago, if that. When she was a girl, they brought her to Francesco because she had the devil in her. According to rumors in town, Francesco got rid of the devil and in the process got the poor kid pregnant. But I repeat, sir, it was only chatter. Because if there really was a child, nobody ever saw it. It could have been born dead. Others said it might have lived for a couple of years and that she always kept it hidden away because it was the son of the devil. A natural assumption. Who established the paternity? Ignorance, Commissioner. That's what they say when a child is born deformed. You mean there was no investigation at the time into these matters then? No. No, there wasn't. I said these were rumors. We've got enough to investigate. <laughs> Captain, are these merely superstitions? I don't know. I think you'd better ask Machado. I've murdered them. I put them to death. All three of them. I had seen the one called Michele, near the place where I had buried my son. Machara, she's the one who put these here. Who said so? I found her yesterday. You bastards! Go away! not your land anyway. Don't you come back anymore. I'll break you. So I warned them. Instead, they came back and started digging around. I saw that the ground was changed. But if you buried your son in a cemetery... I couldn't. He was a child of the devil. I told you. Yes. To conclude, then, you kill those three boys to punish them? That's right. You didn't mention it to anyone, like old Francesco. I know Francesco's innocent. I swear to God. I asked him how to do it, but I didn't tell him why I wanted to know. What did you ask Francesco? How to do it. What do you mean to say? Strangle a child? But I didn't strangle them. You say you... 
didn't strangle you. I put them to death in a different way. In what way did you do it? I don't want to say. Talk. Answer the question. What do you care? I told you I did it. Put me in jail, and that's it. No. How did you do it? I put them to death. I warned them. I said... I said... I'll break you! They shouldn't have done it. And they did. I told them not to. They asked for what they got. I gave it to them. But they asked for it. They went too far. I said, I'll break you. They shouldn't have. They, they, they asked for it. Death! The bastards! Hey, both of you, come in here. Three dolls out of wax and painted them black because the spell was for death. I stuck pins all the way through them. You have to do it thirteen times. Then I said the words. You have to say to command the devils. Thirteen devils enter someone's mouth. By the mouth, they infect the blood, and he kills. Who? Oh. Who does the killing? Anybody. Man or woman. You're sure you couldn't be mistaken? You're not mistaking it with some other night? No, I'm certain it was Friday. Why don't you check my book and see for yourself? On the night when they killed poor little Michele Spriano, I found Machara, someplace near the ruined fort. Well, isn't that quite a distance from the oak? Yes, sir. A good 13 miles, sir. Uh, nobody could walk. But you saw her. You're very certain it was her. Yes, no mistake. I even asked the girl what she was doing on a night like that, and she swore at me. I see. Thanks, that's all. Are you convinced by that story? The only thing that Pachara has in her conscience is sticking pins in dolls. Yes, yes, I know. She's a bit crazy, and that's all. Still, I'd like to keep her till I'm absolutely sure. What's the point of that? 
You're beginning to be like the people who want somebody arrested at all costs. I'm trying to avoid trouble if I can. Expecting more trouble, are you? No, no, I guess not. She's innocent. Nobody here says she's not innocent. Right. She's innocent, so she uh, can be released. Yes, she can. So release her in the morning. Yes, sir. Take it away. 
Horrible crime, bred of ignorance and superstition. We construct gleaming highways, but we're a long way from modernizing the mentality of people like this. I'm going to discover the men who did it and punish them. Right you are, sir. That means punishing the entire town. In Palomani. In Palomani. You satisfied? Huh? Listen here. Every now and again, it's a good idea to think twice and keep your mouth shut. But, Captain, I was telling the truth. I'm aware of that, but a little truth goes a long way in this town. Next time, remember that. Yes, sir. has been broken. Isn't there any way you can get it fixed? If you want, I'll buy you a nice new one. Excuse me, miss. 
She doesn't understand. She's deaf and dumb. The little girl is subnormal. Retarded. Oh, I didn't know. But all the same, there's no reason why she should have a doll without a head on its neck. Is there a shop around here somewhere where we can buy you another doll? There's a stationer's over there. They also sell toys. Good. We'll buy you a brand new one. Happy? Martelli, get moving. I'm coming right away. Well, miss, I... I wish you'd stop addressing me like that, all right? My name is Patrizia. A pleasure. My name is Andrea Martelli. <laughs> Hello? Martelli, you coming? I'll be there in a minute. So, uh, I'll see. Joe? Now, don't be sad. I'll buy you a present. Come with me. It's all right. That's it. Come on. We're going to buy you a nice new doll. Come on. Let's do it another day. Those two are always around. So what? Say I spend all the dough. Without any money, those birds won't even let you watch. Look at those police. Do you think all those police would be here like that without some reason? That's a search party for the killer of those other kids, you jerk. Listen, I'm going home. Ah, the police are doing their map training, stupid, like last summer. They already caught the killer. Machado's dead. I tell you, the murderer's dead and buried. Come on, you're just a scaredy cat. I'm gonna go anyhow. I'm not afraid. I got enough money. They did it with Byron. He's crazy. You coming? I don't feel like it. I'm afraid. Scaredy cat, come on now. No. Go on and play soccer, sissy. You like that, don't you? I'm not a sissy. Yes, yeah, sissy. You're a liar. Oh, go play soccer with Don Alberto. Mario! Mario! Come back here, it's getting late now! Who gives a damn? not to go. What are you talking about? He went to the haunted house right alone. Okay. Alone? Don Alberto? The boys go there because... He got certain females go there. What's this? A couple of girls who... But you're so young. You're just boys. Boys. Not us, Mario. He goes there, that's all. I told him not to go, because he might get caught by the, you know, caught by the monster. That's what I said, I swear. But he said there wasn't any monster. He said nothing would happen, because my shadow's dead. The murderer's dead. The murderer's dead. <laughs> How stupid can you be? People commit an act of folly. And there's the result. Mario, that idiot isn't scared of going all the way up there, because my shadow's dead and buried. Pepino, no one's ever been killed because of magic. No one. It's all nonsense. Don Alberto, that's just what I told Mario because I said the killer was still around. That's, that's what right. everyone knows. Yeah. God. All of you stay here. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Go 
on, you couldn't wait for me to open my mouth. Well, you know how to change a tire? Let me have a jack. I'll give you 2,000 liters. All right? <laughs> Which would you prefer, a kiss or money? It's more than just a bruise this time. It's a contusion. Yes, a violent blow by a blunt weapon. In my opinion, the autopsy will show that the wound wasn't fatal, but that the boy died by drowning. Yes, death by suffocation. Like what happened to Bruno Locascio. Only there the child was smothered. He made an easier job of it this time. The priest found him. He was passing on his bicycle and saw the child's body. He guessed what had happened right away. <laughs> uh, what time was it exactly, Father? Do we question him? Later. If and when the reporters decide to leave him in peace. Captain, one second. Captain Modesti. <laughs> this time, people can't blame Machara. You don't think so? I can't see any of them with a look of guilt on their faces. The only thing that I can see is a look of fear. Ciao, Montanelli. Marcelli, please. <laughs> A rose by any other name, right? Oh. Are you interested in this kind of literature? Not especially. Are you? Would you like a drink? No, thanks. I'm leaving right away. So, what did you come here for? To bring it back to your lighter. How did you know it was mine? There are no initials on it. You know anybody else in town able to buy it? 
You're right. I paid a fortune for it. I'm glad you didn't steal it from me. Didn't you give it a thought? Actually, I did give it a thought. I thought of handing it over to the police. Why? Because it was found lying not far away. Not far away from where? From where another boy was killed. No. Not another one. But when? You mean you didn't know? I don't know anything. Oh, stop it, Martelli. Your suspicions are bullshit. You're the only one I've seen. Where were you tonight? That's my business. Don't try to tell me that you've begun to have weird ideas. So you're saying that inside of three hours, you covered 300 kilometers? Without stopping, you mean? Just up and down, like an idiot. Yes, up and down, like an idiot. Is there anything wrong with that? Yes, there's a little thing wrong. The gasoline. At that speed, uh, your car gets at the most five kilometers to the liter. So you'd have needed at least 80 liters. But my car has two tanks. Each holding 30 liters. 60. Uh, no miss. It's mathematically certain that you must have stopped to get gas. All right, I stopped. Then why did you deny it? Because... Because I didn't just stop to get gas. Because I also made a phone call and I noticed that the attendant jotted my number down. Then what? I called a camp at Maratea. I knew there were two foreigners there, two boys, who had some stuff. Ashes? Well, marijuana. I didn't... I didn't want to get them involved in anything. What's between you and old Francesco? You have relations with him. What relations do you mean? I don't have any relations with... You never go to see him? No, never. And if I say I saw you go to see him with my own eyes? All right. I went there two or three times. You see, I, I like to read about black magic, and so I... For God's sake, what's wrong with it? I'm bored stiff with this place. I know every inch of Achindur by heart just, just from riding around trying to think of something to do. And the people, I can't talk to them because they don't understand me. At least, at least Francesco, he makes, he makes me laugh. You said this camp was in Albero Bello. Yes, that's it, Albero Bello. But a minute ago you said Maratea. Yes, yes, Maratea. But what do you want from me? Just one thing for the moment. You mustn't leave town. Sure, if I'd done as you suggest, I'd have told the police he changed my tire. My God, you're a genius. If somebody told them that, I'd be in the clink by now. I threw the lighter into the john. I don't give a damn how much it cost. In my opinion, you're crazy. I mean, why get rid of uh, the cigarette lighter if you're going to tell me about the boy? Well, I've got to talk to someone, don't I? I mean, you're the only civilized human being in this lousy place. Thanks a bunch. I'm damned if I know how my father got himself born here. Look at it.
the hypocrites in this town make me sick. They make a point of putting flowers in the poor victim's grave, and meanwhile, the person who killed him is one of them. And you people give them rope. Do you know something? I like to think so. Well, this looks like the head of the Donald Duck I gave Malvina. Oh. Oh, yeah, I put it there myself. For that macabre touch. I thought you bought her a doll. They were all ugly. The only decent one was Donald Duck. Where did you find it? Near the wash tub. Where do you suppose the rest is? Andrea! There's nothing here. Go on, keep looking. Where did you find that head, anyway? Right where you are now, a little behind you. Keep on looking. It's useless. Don't give up. A kid or a dog could have carried it away. I found another. Another head? It's just like I said. The priest's house is right there. Malvina came out that night and saw the kid being murdered. She did the same thing to her dolls. But she didn't mean to behead them. She probably just squeezed too hard. Apparently, what she'd seen had made a horrible impression on her. That's very likely. So the poor child imitated the murderer. A child is capable of such a thing. And Malvina, you already know about her mental condition. Father, if Malvina was there during the killing, do you think she might be able to recognize the murderer? She got a good look at him, why not? How is she going to be able to tell us what she knows if she's deaf and dumb? And besides, she's... No, 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 she's not a moron, if that's what you're thinking. She's retarded. At the age of six, she has a mind of a child of three. If we questioned her the right way, We'd surely find out who she saw that night, if she really saw him. Cigarette, Father? Mm. <laughs> All it takes is a great deal of patience and gentleness. <laughs> you don't really expect that from the local police now, do you? She's right. We ought to do it. Mm. My son has forgotten one thing. At night, the door is locked. Always. And not because of thieves, but because of Malvina. Precisely for her, in case she got the idea of going out. You know how careful I am, Albert. Yes, Mother, you are. That rather explodes the whole theory. Uh, I brought some candy for Malvina. The door's always locked at night. So Malvina didn't go out. She didn't see a damn thing. And she tore off the heads just because she felt like it. Is that the sort of crap they'll publish in your newspaper? The door was open. Because her mother left it open on the way out. Oh, really? And where does she go at that time of night? Picking daisies? To kill those boys. Oh, honestly, where do you get all those crazy ideas? Let me tell you something I overheard. 
Donna Aurelia's husband committed suicide. In town, they say it was her fault. Whether it was or not, one thing is certain, she tormented him with her jealousy. She's mad. But what has that got to do with the kids? Apply the same thing to them. They were all from the Paris church. They stole her son's affection. A form of jealousy might drive her to murder. I think the whiskey went to your head, you know. <laughs> hello? Oh, hello there. No, I haven't. But did you say that? No, I just had a feeling maybe she'd taken the child to thank you for your kindness. The candy, the doll. No one's been here. Sure I will if I see them. Of course. Don't worry, Don Alberto. That was Don Alberto. He asked for Aurelia and Malvina. He can't find them anywhere at all. Seen her. Thank you. Let's go. We should have gone to the police. You fool. With this crazy story, they probably would have arrested me. If she kills her, it'll be our fault. We're the ones that made her realize that she'd have to shut her up, even if she is deaf and dumb. Poor little thing. There's someone to ask. Hello, have you seen Donna Aurelia around here? The priest's mother? Yes, I saw her up on the mountain a little while ago with that little girl of hers. Thanks. Do you think a mother could kill her own child? If she were mad. If she's taken her up there, we'll get there in time for the funeral. You're joking, I hope. Because you don't have any kids. Do you? Two boys. And I suppose you have a wife, too. Too bad. No, no, Alberto, leave her with no. me. Don't. Listen! 
listen to me. Alberto! Uh, what is it? Save her. Or Marvin will be killed. He'll kill her. He's mad. My son is mad. Malvina, too, will go to paradise, Mama. She will be with the angels in heaven. It's not for myself that I do this. It's for them. For all those blessed innocent ones. Nobody must stop me. I have to save them. They are my brothers, and I love them. Don Alberto. Don Alberto. You found Malvina. Good. We'll take her to your house. And, uh, and you can get some rest. If you want, I'll carry the child. Please. Alvina, come here. I won't hurt you. Feel the stirrings of the flesh and fall into the arms of sin. Sin that God easily forgives, yes. But what if tomorrow? What sordid acts will they commit? What sins will they enact when they no longer come to confession? Then they will really be dead. Dead forever. For all eternity. They are my brothers. I love them.
difficile, inutile. Noi eravamo in due e adoravamo te. Thank you.